Welcome to another edition of the story behind the car and I'm with Joe and this is his 1965 Plymouth Fury 3 and I'm going to introduce Joe but I just saw was walking by and saw this beautiful car and Joe you said it's pretty much original? It is all original. So original paint? No paint's not original. Okay. But everything else to the car is the engine. Everything else? All that stuff is. Yeah. yeah. So I, I uh, went to Lindbergh High School and we had driver simulators for driver's ed. And the, the it, dash. Was it like a Fury? Was a, yeah. And, and my dad had a uh, Lickley gas car that was a Fury. I can't remember if it was a Fury 2 or 3. Yeah, I don't know. if That must have been a long time ago. Yeah. Because they had a lot of like Fords, the gas company. That's the biggest of the one yeah. too. Yeah. Well, the Fury, uh, the, the one my dad had, the engine stopped running, so he was working on it. And as a kid, I was, you know, 13, 14, I would sit in it all the time, pretend I was driving. I couldn't wait to drive. That's a big car. Yeah. And how long have you had it? I've had it like six months. Okay. I bought the car, I had it a week. I went in the hospital, I found out I had cancer. Okay. So I never got to drive the car. Oh, wow. Until I got back out. Yeah. So it pretty much sat for like six, almost six months. And I see you're a Vietnam veteran? Yes, sir. Well, thank you for your service. Thank you. Uh-oh. You did that on purpose. <laughs> <laughs> and is the interior original? It's aftermark, but it's, it's original. Well, let me get up. <clears throat> the seats were recovered? Yes. Okay. Let me put it this way. It's, it's been all redone. Okay. But it's, it's all original to the car. In other words, yes. it's been repainted. Okay. But it's got the original seat covers and stuff on it. Yeah. And the, everything else has been done to it. It was one of these cars that you hate to pass it up. Yeah. And I have like, I don't know, I got like 12 mo 12 cars and most of them are low cars and I just like Chrysler products yeah even though they were rust buckets back then but yeah they rusted right out in the parking lot after they, they were they built did. They, they did yeah but it's just a nice clean car that you can drive around you know it's everything yeah. works you know the air it's so uh so nice looking in what size motor do you know 318 okay 318 which was a bulletproof engine yeah that thing was so didn't make a whole lot of horsepower, but it was, you know, it's, it's reliability though. Yes, yeah. I pretty much haven't did nothing to the car since yeah. I had it, you know. But it's it's a neat car. It's just <clears throat> it is just so uh, so nicely done though. Yeah, it is. And the hood ornament. Yeah, I yeah. would sit in the one my dad had just hours as a kid. Yeah. There goes your buddy. Yep. See you, Jim. I'll talk to you later. So you have a, a 12? 12 Chrysler? Yeah, I have a... I, you want me to tell you what I got? Yeah, yeah. Got a 65 Dodge Dart. Okay. Got a 65 Belvedere. Can I open the, the passenger door? Yeah, Is that yeah. okay? Yeah. Yeah, the Belvedere was really, yeah. really nice. Got a 70 Roadrunner. Oh wow! I got a '71 Roadrunner. Got a '72 Roadrunner. Uh, what else do I have? So you have three Roadrunners. Yep. Wow. And and uh, I still want to hear about your vehicles, but this has factory air. Yes, it does, and it works. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And I, I love the so your push button radio, and then you have push button for the for the, for the uh, yeah air and the vent and yeah, everything. What's, what's crazy is. Chrysler had a push button drive system yes. transmission in 64. In 65, they put it on the column, but the column shifter actually uses the cables like the old push button. Oh, really? Yeah. So if you could find the push buttons, you could actually put push buttons on this transmission. I don't know why they did that. Yeah. And that's a crazy, you know. Yeah, I remember the push button as yeah. a kid. Well, in 65, they quit it. Yeah, I was going to say, I had, my dad has 63 wagon and yeah. it had it. Yeah. But, that you, they use the same transmission, but they put it on the column. And it was was it a Tremec? No, this this is a um, 
This is a 727 transmission. Okay. Chrysler's own transmission. Okay. Yeah, and nothing on the car has been changed on it. It's, yeah. It all has the original stuff on it. Got the original wheel covers on it. The uh, little skirts are original to the yeah. car. Yeah. And I interrupted you. You said you had uh, 12 cars and you were going through the litany. Yeah. Uh, let me see what else I got. Well, I got a, I got two Challengers. I got a 2011 and I got a 2015 Hellcat SRT8. Holy cow. And then I got a 21, a 2021 Corvette. My wife drives a Durango. <laughs> uh, got a 39 Chevy. 31 Ford, um, four door hard top. Okay, there's someone pulling in right here oh, behind you. Want to get out of the way? Uh, well, you have all kinds of cars then. She, yeah, she's thinking something crazy. Yeah. But yeah, I, I like cars. I've always yeah. liked cars since I was a kid. Now, do you have the key or is it in the car? No, the key's right here. I'm just, do you mind showing the trunk just because they're so big? Yeah, it's got a lot of shit in it. <laughs> we went to a car show last week and I'd have to clean it out. Yeah. But it's got a huge trunk. Yes. Well, that's the great thing about these trunks. They held a lot of shit. Yeah, back when I was a kid, I used to fill them up and go to the drive and put people in the trunk, you know. Oh, you do have. A, oh, so you got a tent or a uh, easy yeah. up and. Yeah. Yeah, oh, the old jack. Yeah, yeah, the jack's in it. it. It's pretty much just the way it was when it was new. Yeah, and I love the plaid yeah. liner. Yep. Yeah. It's a nice. It, it's just a nice old car, put it that way. Yeah. It's not a fast car. It's, it's... Well, it has great lines, and I love the color combination, Joe. It looks good. Any quirkiness about it, unique that's, you know, to the Chrysler, to this body style that you'd like to tell everybody before we wrap you know, it up? It, it's big, but I like it, you know. But yeah. outside of that, you know, I, I just wanted a car that you could drive anywhere. Yeah. You could take it on the trip, and this is one. Yes. You know, it just... It, Turn the, turn the air on. It's it's just a nice car to drive. It's, and it rolls down the highway really nice. Oh, really good. Yeah, really good. Yeah, that's that's why I bought it. And yeah, I'm not disappointed about that. Have you taken it on any trips at no, all? No, just just around town and down yeah. the highway and stuff. And yeah, haven't had a chance to. You know, I was you know, like I said, I was sick for a while. So I was yeah. After I bought this, I was in the hospital for like 39 days, and Holy I didn't, cow. didn't get a chance to even drive it. Yeah. So. Well, I'm glad you're out and about now, and you told us about your car. Yeah, thank you. I I'm going to finish off by just showing the grill, uh, the uh, dash one more time. Okay. And thank you so much, Joe. Well, thank you for noticing it. Yeah. Most people don't even like the old cars like this. Well, I certainly do. Well, 